Hello. Hello. This week's video, we're going to talk about top five money saving tips for camping. So this video is actually part of a collaboration with other YouTubers, some fantastic channels. So what you'll see going across the screen in a minute, uh, the other channels that are involved in this collaboration. So please take the time to watch them. Uh, their videos are really cool. We found some of these channels um, through watching collaboration videos ourselves and you can learn lots of different tips. So if you've got time, please take the time to watch all the videos in the collaboration. So we're going to talk you through our top five and give you our tips. Um, ours are probably going to be quite different and unique because these are things we found ourselves from camping over the last few years. and before that as well uh, and we'll tell you how we get on so we're going to start and count them down from well five to one in Although, no particular order not actually in the order because <laughs> they could be different depending on what you want so yeah we'll start so top tip number one and um, if you're off grid and you want some hot water and um, rather than use your boiler um, boil your kettle that sounds simple and a simple one to say. So just to explain a bit more context. So when you in the morning when you're going to do your dishes and stuff, it's fine if you're a campsite. You've obviously got dish and washing facilities. You can plug into the electric. But when you're off grid and you're using, you're trying to retain your resources like gas, etc. One of the th easiest things to do, rather than firing up your boiler, which takes up more gas and running that separately to heat up your water to wash up and do your dishes, um, all you need to do is just boil a little bit of extra water into your kettle. Put some extra water when you're making your cup of tea in the morning or your coffee use that water to, to wash dishes, it just saves you running your boiler and using up more gas and trying to clean up. And probably quicker. Yeah, and quicker. Top tip number two. Um, take advantage of the resources that come with your van. Before you start buying uh, extra batteries and things, check out what you've actually got and how well it works. So what my learner's <laughs> assistant is trying to say is <laughs> A lot of people when they buy their vans, the first thing they'll do is they'll start ripping out the batteries and adding more power, adding lithium batteries. Lots of people do it. Um, one thing we'd say is just before you do that, it might be the right thing for you to do, but just try it yourselves first. The first thing I thought when we bought this van, it's got one battery, 75 amp like battery. I thought, we're going to have to upgrade that. We're going to be like, you know, off grid, living in a jungle and all sorts. <laughs> Never um, going to happen. <laughs> but then Caroline decided to come. And Caroline so, came along. <laughs> yeah, and Caroline first campsites. So for us, we do light off grid, we do light wild camping. Um, so not massive amounts each year. So for us the 75 amp battery is perfect. We've got a solar panel on the roof, which again, you can use that. We don't have to buy a battery charger, so you can save money there. Just making sure the solar panel charges your, your batteries. You can flick between the two or the switch in the cupboard. Um, but also using that when you're off grid, it's brilliant. You've got free power electric effectively from the sun. But we've managed the 75 amp battery. It's just thinking a little bit more carefully about what you're gonna use it for. You might find you need to buy more, which is absolutely fine, but try it first before you start ripping stuff out of your van, before you've even had your first your first wild camp. Um, our wild camping is, is much less than I anticipated we'd do. Might, might change that in the future, we'll see. Top tip number three. Um, if, you if you've got a club membership or you're a member of any clubs like the Caravan and Motorhome Club, is that right? Yep. Let's get that one wrong. Um, National Trust, things like that, you get a lot of free discounts. Um, not free discounts, just discounts um, for extra things. So just take advantage of them, and check out what you've got already. Yeah, one of the things to say is, particularly if you like doing things like going to look at country halls and days out and stuff, it's well worth joining like National Trust or English Heritage because you pay one off fee, you can pay it monthly, and that thing takes care of all your expenditure when you're away for the weekend. But after we plan a trip around the National Trust property we want to go and see, uh, and then you've got a free day out effectively. You've got your initial outlay, of course, but you end up saving quite a bit of money in the long run. The other thing is by joining clubs like the Caravan Motorhome Club site, you get discounts off certain things. Obviously discounts off your stay, which is which is standard um, for joining the club. But also things like uh, tow bar, we're giving a tow bar fit to the van, we get 10% off that. Um, so when you factor that back in, that's actually saved us the cost of the membership of joining the club. So just think about what you want to do in the future. Look at the benefits of joining each club and each membership before you actually do it. It's a really good way to save money. Um, tip number four for saving money, tyre pressures. I'll take this one. Okay, <laughs> if you're sure. I mean, I'm, I'm all right to do the technical stuff, but you know, I'll just no, let him do it. You're very helpful at holding the hose when we blow the tires up, I must say. I'm very, I'm very helpful at standing there looking sulky. 
So basically, massive difference we, we noticed, making sure your tyre pressure is the correct, correct levels. Our tyres were underinflated on one of our first journeys, we didn't realise. And it was about three miles per gallon less on the van. Um, tyre pressures were inflated to the, the proper, proper inflation and the maximum inflation. It was three miles per gallon better. So it doesn't sound a great deal, but if you're travelling long distances in your motorhome, making sure that your tyre pressures are you know, absolutely bob on makes a massive difference. It'll save you money in the long run over your fuel savings. Mm. What I do know is fuel is very expensive. Yeah, <laughs> more cost fuel at the moment. Making sure your tyre pressures are absolutely spot on is really important. Oh, and just on that, you don't have to buy an expensive tyre pressure machine. You can go to a lot of petrol stations, it's either free or you can pay a pound, and that'll do your tyres for you as well. So work out half, then you go away and half, you need to check the tyre pressures. I mean, they recommend you check them every trip. Um, so obviously just making sure that you do, you make sure you stay with manufacturer's guidelines, etc. Also, just on the tyre pressures, one the other thing that's saved money as well is take out rubbish from your van you don't need. So look what you go on your trip and remove extra weight. Extra weight makes your van, again, less fuel economic. So just take out things like you've got spare chairs in or spare tables, take them out if you're not going to use them. It makes yeah, a massive difference. Yeah, like your awning. If you're not going to put your yeah. awning up, then really do you need to take it? Yeah, we only take stuff we need with us for each trip. And finally, top tip number five, don't buy a load of unnecessary things for your van. Check out what you've got at home or what you can just bring from home or use in the van. Yeah, for example, we, we, we looked to load, buy loads of expensive bedding, duvets, etc. And then we realised after our first trip, all we do is grab our duvet and pillows from home and we put them straight into the van. So we've halved the cost of buying extra stuff there. Some things you do have to buy if you van, but have a look at what you've got at home that you can take in the van with you, that you can reutilize. And then we take the little bedroom straight back out. You don't have extra place for storage and everything like that. It's really convenient. So we just chuck everything in the van before we go. It takes a few minutes. And then we've got our home comforts there as well. So about the noise on a campsite. <laughs> So that's our top five. We hope you've enjoyed watching. Hope you find it useful. Um, don't forget to watch the, the videos of this playlist and collaboration. It really helps. And we'll see you again in the next collaboration videos. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Um, so that's our top five. We hope you've enjoyed watching our video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. So thank Somebody you. didn't like it, obviously. <laughs>